Okay guys, it's gonna be the second day. We're gonna start off by removing this piece to get this piece out. And then from there we're gonna move on, try and see if we can open up the transmission today and change the part. Okay guys, it's removed. I think this is this seal is leaking. As you can see oil in the in the trail. I think I gotta replace that seal because it's gonna keep burning out the trans trans oil. I'm gonna get the clutch out and then move from there. So we're about to take out the the dual clutch. Have the tie rod tool there with a long bolt and a half piece of wood to hold it down. Put some nut there that I'm gonna keep screwing until it pops out. Uh, I did take out the, the screws that are inside. They're right there. So let's see how this goes. Let's see if it comes up. A ver si sale. Si salió. Ya la escucho. It's out guys, 
I have to do it with two hands right now, so I can be careful with it. Oh, but it worked. See, look. All right, guys, it came out. It was not as hard as I thought. Next, we're gonna have to take away the mechatronic. You see it right there. We're gonna flip over the transmission, take the mechatronic out. Alright guys, we cleaned it up a little bit from the inside. There's a lot of oil with dirt. We're gonna clean it up, clean it from the outside later on. But for right now, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna do the Megatronic now. We're gonna use a uh, Torx. Focus. Focus. It's a T T35. The same one I used to take out the, the clutch. T35 Torx. It's the same screws. Right there. All those little ones. And then we'll take out the Megatronics. There's an O-ring inside, right there, hopefully I don't forget. We're going to take out the mechatronic now. Six screws, we're going to remove six tornillos. But the mechatronic is doing one. I already have loosened them up. Now we're going to remove the Also, to remove this clip, this red orange plastic is gonna be to the bottom. You just pull it up towards that way, and then there's a little another clip there. Press down on it, and then you pull. It's really easy. Para zafar este, tienes que Estirar el anaranjado hacia abajo, hacia arriba, para acá. Y ya cuando hagas clic, le planas el negro para adentro y luego le estiras el conector y se ve de zafar. Ahora 
Alright, so I was having a hard time removing the mechatronics. Not my first time. It's not my first time removing it, removing it, removing it. But um, I forgot that I had to take off the, the oil filter. Sorry, oil filter that goes here. Which is this one. Take off the screws. And then I thought I was done, but I wasn't. I also need to remove the connector that goes here. This screw you remove it and then you twist it to your left until it stops and then you pop it off. Pop it off. And it should be ready to remove. So I'm gonna try and remove it. Hopefully it slides out easily. Yeah, came out. <laughs> Alright, so I was looking at a video and they take out this pump, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not gonna replace any, any, oh, sorry, I'm not gonna replace any o rings or whatever, but I am gonna replace this wire though. So I'm gonna remove this wire and then so got that is kind of hard to film. That connection. That connection I'm gonna remove it. The orange part I'm gonna pull it to to myself. And then there's a black clip that I'm gonna push down and then pull the connector. Um and then I'm gonna use a special tool to remove some black plastic thing that's in there and then now I'm gonna start um, opening the transmission and stuff it's really hard to film sorry about that <laughs> there's a mechatronic alright see you guys in a bit So you pull this, and you press on the black tab, and then you just pull. It was hard, I'm not gonna lie. It was hard, but as long as you know what you're doing, you should be fine.
I'm gonna try and see if the tool fix, I mean fits. This is from the special tool that I bought from Amazon. I'm just gonna go in here. So, I was running into a little dilemma because I didn't know if I was using the special tool to remove the that, um, sorry about that, sorry about that, the cap that goes in there, which is this cap. But I was twisting it and it stopped at a certain position. It stopped, so I mean, the purpose of this was to remove it, right? So I kept going, and I kind of forced it, and it cracked. So it's broken now, and I was like, "Fuck! I'm gonna have to wait another week until I get this part, right?" And that's what I didn't want. That's the only reason why I bought this tool. So I have to order parts. But then I saw the new sensor. And it actually comes with that part. It's that one. So I guess when you when I put it in, it'll be fine. So I guess you do have to remove it and crack it. And so you can remove the sensor whenever you tear down the transmission into three parts. Because if you don't remove it, it's not going to come out, I guess. So I think we did a little bit today. We're probably going to continue tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow I'm going to put the transmission like that, flip it over. and. Uh, in the front, it's gonna be standing, so I can uh, remove the the end, then work my way to the middle. Hopefully, we change the sensor tomorrow, and we can get it done.